Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video on the channel. Today we have Premier League Gang Week 15 predictions. Just want to say, first and foremost, Merry Christmas to you all watching this. This is going out on Christmas Eve. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty much Christmas. And the next episode will be on Boxing Day. Uh, so these these two videos, the, the next two videos, this one and the next one, are being filmed back to back. So yeah, we need to get straight into it. But before we do, if you are new, then make sure you do subscribe down below because every single Premier League game this season has been covered and will be covered. And next year, only a week away, we have new Formula One content coming to the channel that's definitely going to be covered. And any big boxing or UFC fights will be covered by myself and Philip. And the channel's getting a bit of a makeover by Jaden. So yeah, what, what a lad he is for remaking everything so yeah as soon as it hits the first it'll all be remade and re upvoking and everything it just it just look a bit different uh maybe thumbnails and graphics i'm not too sure but yeah definitely premier league and formula one content coming in january and then we're going to have the fa cup predictions are coming as well can't forget about the fa cup they are coming as well soon to the channel so subscribe and smack my ball to be notified when I upload. So these are the games this week, a couple of tasty games like Arsenal versus Chelsea and Leicester versus Manchester United as you saw on the thumbnail if you clicked it. Um, and the first game is actually Leicester versus Man United in 48 hours of when this goes up. And this has remarked to be a fantastic game. Leicester coming off the back of an impressive 2-0 win against Tottenham. Uh, notice I'm not wearing my Spurs shirt because we lost the last two games and we played tonight as I'm filming this so I'm not wearing a Spurs shirt. Um, coming up against Manchester United who do play tonight or last night as this went out against Everton in the Carabao Cup quarter final. Uh, I think it's going to be a tough game. Manchester United this season in the Premier League have won every single away game after going 1-0 down um, and frankly I don't think that's continuing. I think Leicester have a good bit of confidence behind them after beating Spurs away from home. And I think it's going to be a tough game here at the King Power Stadium. I'm going with a one all draw. Uh, so Man United still undefeated away from home. And I, just for the fun of it, Leicester will go 1-0 up and Manchester United will equalise through a Bruno Fernandes penalty. Moving on to Aston Villa versus Crystal Palace. Aston Villa in their last game beat West Brom 3-0 in the Midlands derby. Taking on Crystal Palace who will want to forget about their last game. Losing embarrassingly 7-0 at home to the champions Liverpool. Now, champions or not, losing 7-0 at home is embarrassing. And I think that's going to continue for Crystal Palace here away at Villa Park. I think Aston Villa are going to pick up all three points at home, winning 2-1. Moving on to Fulham versus Southampton. Now Fulham are on a bit of a roll at the minute. They're three games unbeaten in the Premier League. Last time out they drew 1-0 against Newcastle in a game that they should have really won because Callum Wilson dived. Facing Southampton who are in form in terms of league positioning. But I do think that Southampton will struggle here at Craven Cottage. Fulham have uh, a sort of stat yesterday going through Twitter. In their first three games they conceded nine goals from open play. And in the rest of the season they've only conceded nine goals in open play. So it's work in progress for Fulham. And I think that's going to work out a bit more for them here. I'm going with another. One will draw for Fulham with them going four games unbeaten, which is fantastic for a team like Fulham. Uh, and beating Leicester as well early in the season. And one of them three games unbeaten being against Liverpool, fantastic for the Whites. Now Arsenal versus Chelsea. Arsenal who are not the Arsenal that we all know. Um, lost 4-1 to Manchester City last night or the other day as this goes out. And you're 15th in the Premier League and you're playing against a Chelsea team who are on a roll. They've just beaten West Ham in a London derby. They've finally beaten a team that's above 12th. Um, and I think this is going to be a walk in the park for Chelsea. I think they're going to win this game 2-0, score the two goals early in the first half and then just sit back, relax and gobble up the three points with open arms. And Mikel Arteta... Yeah, I don't know. I think you should just stick to putting cones out for Pep. Moving on to Manchester City versus Newcastle, a game where I think he will start, and he loves a game against Newcastle. Sergio Aguero back on the bench for Manchester City last night and came on in the second half. And yeah, he loves a game against Newcastle. Loves banging goals against him, and I think he's going to contribute here as he starts and scores for Manchester City. And they pick up all three points, winning 3-0. Now Sheffield United versus Everton, the Phil Jagielka derby. Sheffield United in their last game picked up a second point of the season against Brighton. They won the up and then Brighton equalised. Um, Everton on the other hand, a very different season to the Blades. Everton are firing all cylinders. Of course they do have that game against Manchester United last night. Or 
tonight for me. Uh, but I don't think that's really going to matter playing against Sheffield United. I think Everton are comfortably going to win this game 2 0. Now, Leeds versus Burnley. Leeds in their last game, they played fantastically in a, in a brilliant, brilliant classic Premier League match against Manchester United. They lost 6 2, but it was end to end stuff. Leeds put up a fantastic fight. Uh, they're playing Burnley, who in their last game, I think they, they won their last game. I can't remember who they played. If I look here, they beat Wolves 1 0, 2 0, 2 1. They beat them 2 1. Good result for Burnley. Um, but ultimately, I think Leeds are the stronger team here, and I think they're going to pick up all three points at Ellen Road, winning 2 1. Moving on to West Ham versus Brighton. As I've said earlier in the video, West Ham lost to Chelsea 3 0, and Brighton drew 1 0 against Sheffield United. I think this is a good chance for West Ham to get back on track with their season and I'm going with a 2-1 win for the Irons. Now Liverpool versus West Brom. Liverpool in their last game won 7-0 and West Brom lost 3-0 in the Midlands derby. And I think this is another chance for Liverpool to smack in some more goals at the hands of Sam Allardyce's team. And I think Liverpool are going to comfortably win this game with a rotated team. See? With a rotated team, Salah will start I think because he missed out on starting in the last game. I think Salah's going to score a hat-trick as West Brom lose 5-1 at Anfield. And now the last game this week is Wolves versus Tottenham. Yeah, so realistically, Spurs haven't done too well in their last couple of games. The game against Leicester was a shambolic performance and not the Spurs that I know of this season. If you don't know, I am a Spurs fan. But as I've said in many, many videos, I call it right down the middle. Spurs play midweek against Stoke in a tough, tough cup game. And Wolves are going to look to get back on track after losing 2 1 to Burnley. And I think Wolves are going to do just that. Going to the Molly New is a tough, tough fixture for any team. And I think Wolves are going to make it count, winning 1 0. So, yeah, that is going to be it for this video. If it's a bit shorter, then sorry, I just I have to film the other video and get them edited and all that malarkey before Spurs kick off in an hour and a half. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. As I said, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment your predictions down below. Um, as I said, Merry Christmas to you all, and I will see you for the next video in 40 hours. Goodbye.